Hello everyone, Attack Power here with my personal thoughts, expectations, and review of the upcoming DLC divisions for Normandy 44 for Steel Division 2. If you guys enjoy this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, consider checking out the Patreon and attackpowergaming.com. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. It really does mean a lot. So we got 14 new divisions coming here in the new Tribute to Normandy 44 DLC for Steel Division 2. Now, seven allied, seven axes. So what I'm gonna do here in this video, I'm gonna start with the allies and I'm basically gonna put them in three different tiers. A tier where I just don't think these divisions are gonna be very good just in general, and I'm gonna try to specify between 1v1 and like, if I think a division will be good in 10v10. I am not a 10v10 player myself, so I'm not the best source for that, but I, I generally can make a good guess of what will at least be all right over there. Um, so I'm speaking mostly from a 1v1 perspective, but I will try to make a uh, comment if I think a division is necessary, you know, potentially really bad in 1v1, but actually might be really good in 10v10. Uh, if I don't make that, that distinction, then I probably just think it's either good or bad in a general sense for any uh, situation. Um, so I'm kind of splitting them up into like, a, I think it's not going to be a good, very good tier. The mid tier, uh, these divisions will probably just fall somewhere in, you know, like a BC category where they're fine to play in certain situations and really rough in others. Uh, and then like an A tier. I will say right off the bat, before we get any further into this, I do not think any of these divisions are like hardcore S tier, way above the curve sort of divisions. Now, the balance changes are coming out. We're not talking about those here. I'm just talking about the 14 new divisions coming out. Um, so I'm not even really taking, I'm not trying not to take any of the balance stuff into account, uh, like, you know, where every different division will fall. I'll make a video about that after the pal the patch comes out, you know, we have a week or two to get these new divisions under our belt and everyone comes back to play the game cause it's fun again. Um, I mean, I always think it's fun, but it's more fun again. It's a little bit more balanced. Um, so you know, I, I can't say based on that, but I'm just basically putting them in what I expect to be high tier, mid tier, and not so great tier. And truthfully, I made it pretty even. There's two not so great for both factions. There's three mid for both factions, and there's two good uh, for both factions. So that's how I've divided it up. The allied one, pretty, pretty tough. I had to really force one down into a bad tier. I'm going to note the one I don't necessarily think is actually going to be a bad tier one, uh, but I wanted to try to make it even. So let's get into this thing here, folks. So starting off on the allied side, starting in the bad tier list. So what divisions I just really don't think are going to be good. And I, I'm feeling pretty confident about one of these for sure. And the first one is the guards tank core here when I find it. Where'd you go? There you are. Guards armored. Okay, and I just mocked up a quick division uh, deck here. Uh, you can check it out. This is definitely not necessarily the optimal way to build these. Uh, I just threw them together. So guards armored. So my I got I got plenty of gripes about this division. One, it, it's it's just not interesting. Like there's absolutely nothing new in this division at all. Like not a singular unit in here is unique. Uh, I, I don't even think the Cromwell Recon is unique. I'm pretty sure those are in, in one or two other divisions. Yeah, there's a special ace. Sure. Okay, but there's no actual new units here. Um, the the it just everything about this just doesn't feel great. And I'm speaking here for one v one. I actually think this division is probably pretty solid in ten v ten. You get a you just basically firefly seventeen pounder spam in this division, and I think you probably do are and arty spam. So for ten v ten, I do think this division is probably got a lot of play to it. Uh, you don't need as many infantry and you can just keep spamming 17 pounders, fireflies, artillery. Uh, you get typhoons, which can potentially actually get in and out, uh, in a 10 v 10 game, though, probably not that far into it. Um, you know, so there are tools for that, but in a one V one game, this thing is just lacking a lot of the necessary tools. Now there's nothing like it's not missing anything per se. Biggest issue, you just don't have many infantry, right? And we know very well, even with the upcoming nerfs to fall back and things, infantry are still the bread and butter of the game. So a division that only has six slots and it's six Commonwealth infantry slots, which are, and you know, even with the Bren buff guys, it's not, Commonwealth infantry are still very mid at best. Um, and that's being kind of generous. They're still not great, but they're more serviceable than they were before. But if you are in a Commonwealth division, you only have six slots of infantry with no unique infantry whatsoever. Um, yeah, you got these assault engineers, I guess. Uh, is this a new unit? Kind of. It's basically a worse version of the unit we see in Seventh Desert Rats, uh, which is coming out. Uh, you know, there's they just have a better version of this. This one's just worse. Uh, this is literally just a rifle squad Piat with a flamethrower. So... Okay, like it, it's okay, I guess, but it's not good. Like it, it isn't, and the rest is just rifles, um, and it's just small. Like you can see how I vetted very little. Just these two, these three cards right here are vetted, and I still have like a field engineer card and stuff, and it's still a like, seven-two infantry. There's no leaders here. Um, you know, 
your your tanks are Shermans. Shermans are solid, but they're you know they they do their thing. They do their one thing. Uh, the support tab does have a card of Cromwell Six, but only one, and that's all you get to work with. The AT tab is a Commonwealth AT tab. It's good. The AA tab is solid. As Bofors. The RD tab is very good. The air tab is actually quite small. There's not a lot here to work with. Um, so yeah, overall. I just don't think this division has it. I, I think, you know, do I think it'll be like D tier unplayable? Probably not. It's probably like very far down C tier. Um, works on slits maps here and there, depending on what you're playing against. But overall, no, I don't think this is going to be a very good division. Definitely the one of the allied divisions that just says to me, this one probably ain't doing it. So my next one in the bad tier, or what I don't expect to be like a good division per se, and this one I went I went back and forth a lot. This switch back and forth, and I'm not fully convinced of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it frankly, but uh, I I'm I'm not convinced yet that this division is actually very good. I was very afraid, but it's actually gonna be DBSAS. Uh, I had this one in mid, and the more I thought about it, the more I was just like, after my experiences with the division, I, I don't I don't think it's really got it. Um, and again, I'm not fully convinced. I'm more, I would prefer this more in the mid tier. So let me just say that. Um, for sake of evenness, I'm putting it in the I don't think it's that great tier. The one that I'm kicking around with it is 4th Canadian. When we get to that, I, that'll be our next one, 4th Canadian. Those two I could very much interchange here, but I still think both of them are probably just very low C tier. Now, what, what came up short with Division? Because when we first looked at it, I was like, oh, it's it's French, and Steel Division 2 is a game made in France, so that probably means this division is secretly broken. We just haven't figured it out yet. So the problem with this division is, is a few things. There's a few things. So... One, you, you are short on some very important tools. You have, like, no artillery. You have very little AA to work with. Um, it's serviceable, but there's not much of it. You really don't have much in the support tab at all. Technically, there's 2K, but it doesn't come till C phase. Um, your, your air tab is good, but it, it does run out. Like, it, it's not infinite. It's not infinite air spam. You, you know, all of these things can be done. The, RD, the AT tab, again, good, but still limited in its tools at the end of the day. It, it will run dry. And, and here's where this division falls into this weird dichotomy problem. So also the tank tab. The tank tab is not actually good. Like, it isn't. It, it's cool. It's got a cool mix of random things. But let's be real. These three tabs, these three cards here are useless. They don't actually do much of anything. Um, and these are good, but there's five. You get five of them. And that's with no veterancy. Um, and these guys don't come till C phase. So, and and here's and that's where this division falls in this weird, actually, I don't think it's good space. The problem with it is it's it's kind of has to be a Vanguard Maverick deck because it has no depth at all, right? You run out of already like five minutes into the game. You don't have that much A, so it's very, very easy to like have it sniped out of the game and then just get air punished the entire game. You have very little support. You don't have many tanks. You can't go long. Like Going long is not actually a, a viable option here, but all your best tools are in C phase. Like Everything you need to survive is in C phase. The 2K HE, the tanks that actually matter. Um, you know, lots of infantry when you really, really want them. Uh, infinite air. Like, all of this stuff's actually just in C-phase. But the problem is you don't actually have the depth to get to C-phase proficiently. So I just don't think the division fits to make it good. It's got good tools. These inf This infantry tab is strong. It is not out. It's not outrageous, though. It's not, like, I don't think it's OP. I don't think it's, like, this is completely uncounterable and it just eats everything it looks at. It's not that kind of tab. It, it's got a couple commandos, this Shasser unit, but the Shasser unit is not, it's very niche. It's only 300 meter range. Um, the Sten is a bad submachine gun, so at CQC, it is good, but not amazing. Uh, it's got no CQC, like, grenade or, or flame anything so it ends up being good not smashing right it's good not crushing nothing else in here is commando everything else is just raidery units you got only two cards of double mg units and they're not amazing double mgs they're they're fine but they're not amazing um and then you're just you're tossing mollies all day which is good but it's not you know any map that isn't all green forest you're gonna struggle on like that just is what it is so i just i think this division will probably smack me down one day i'm sure but i think overall this division is gonna be hard to really find its right place and i don't think that right place is actually going to be very high in the tier list that that is my that's that's my first controversial potential pick here of the day so continuing on here gotta keep this moving uh fourth canadian coming in at the bottom of the mid tier potentially again in the doesn't actually have it tier there you are um yeah so this division to me just ends up being a worst um third canadian i i don't 
I don't actually see how this division ends up better than third Canadian. Um, so you get fireflies, you get more fireflies. I guess that's an upgrade. Your infantry tab, I think, is just worse. I think. It just feels kind of worse to me. I'm not even using the American infantry that you only get, like, you get these rifles, but they only come in C phase, which, like, great. I, that's kind of one of my kangaroo rifles at that point. Like, yay, finally 15-man kangaroo monster squads. Like, I kind of want that. Um, and you don't actually have that many tabs. Like, like this this is, what, four, eight? You got four, eight, and they get really expensive. So, and your CQC sucks. Like, you're relying on these little suicide squads to do all your CQC fighting. Like, you don't have any other CQC. So, like, this just runs out of CQC in a, in a hot second. Uh, the, the recon tab isn't actually anything spectacular. It's just... You know, you don't even get the MH till C. You can do some stack on the beginning. Um, the tank tab is just Sherman's and Firefly spam again, which is, is not bad. I'm not saying that's that isn't a, a, a solid tank tab that I'd be happy to use myself, but it's not anything spectacular. Like, this is not doing anything amazing. You don't get your 2K HE until C phase, where if you think 3rd Canadian has the double card of Priest DD, which is really strong. Um, you know, all this stuff is kind of the same. This is all kind of the same. I, I don't I can't remember third Canadian's air tab as as well, but yeah, like I just nothing about this is actually better than third Canadian. I just actually kind of feel like it's a little worse, generally speaking. Um the tank tab is better. Uh, that, I would say that's about it. Like already we've hit it. That's it. Otherwise, the infantry tab in third Canadian, I think, is just better. Uh you're you technically have tons of off map and crap in in for in third Canadian, which technically is better. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't see it. So yeah, I, I don't think this division is going to be bad. I'm not saying that. I just don't think it does anything special at all. I don't think, it, I don't think I would pick this over third Canadian unless I was playing on Slutsk and I just had to pick a Canadian division. Uh, then maybe I'd pick this one, but otherwise, no, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Our next mid tier one here for allies. Sorry, I look at my paper here. Ah, Yes. The good old Screaming Eagles, 101st Airborne. So, yeah, 101st Airborne, you know, you saw me try it. It, it has its moments where it's like, whoa, this thing kind of feels like first Airborne. And, oh, Airborne paras are, are gross. They're so strong. But then again, at the end of the day, this division is just missing a lot again. It's barely got any AA. Your AT, now, Raider trade on these AT guns is busted. I still think it's ridiculous how good this is. But it's it's limited to 1500 meter range and 110 millimeters of penetration, right? Like or 15, 115, 115 millimeters of penetration. That's it. Like it, there is no other AT in this deck. Like you're not killing a big tank unless you get a P47 through. And if your opponent has any amount of AA, well then sucks to suck, I guess. Um, so you know you only have one card of 2K HE. Doesn't last long. Um, your arty tab is good. I mean, you get this big arty, which the other uh, airborne division does not come with. Your tab is fantastic. Your tank tab is barely anything here. Your infantry tab is good but expensive and doesn't actually have that much CQC. Yes, these AB engineers overperformed my expectations. No, they still lose to everything that's actually good at CQC, right? Like if you come up against any Finnish division or, um, you know, Russian divisions that actually have CQC that has oomph to it, um, you know, this runs out in a hurry and then everything else in the woods gets absolutely smacked around like silly. So yes, these infantry do perform better at range than I expected them to. I will say that these AB rifles, LMG, very solid infantry, but they're all 30 points, which I'm, I think they should be, but they're all 30 points. And this entire tab is 30 points all the way across the board. Nothing but the leaders is less than 30 points. That's very inefficient. That's, that's a lot to ask for every single one of these squads to trade up 30 points of infantry. So I just don't think this division does super well in a lot of situations. And the problem is, too, a lot of maps don't favor this, right? Like, like you don't have any long-range stuff. So any long-range map, this division sucks. And the truth is, any really CQC division uh, map, this division also sucks. So, like, it's kind of limited to these, like, Orsha East, Shachedrin, like, these mid-range maps, and that's it. Anything outside of that, the, the deficiencies in this division just become so glaring that it. I feel like it's pretty hard. And this is different than First Airborne. First Airborne has some busted planes and stuff. Like, the bow fighters are better than the P-47s. The infantry is much stronger with the forcemen and stuff. Like, you, it, it, this is not First Airborne Reborn or anything like that it just it, it's a 
it's a quantifiable step down from first airborne, which I think is good, but again, keeps it from being anything above like a mid tier division. I think at the end of the day, which will be fun to play with because I mean, Hunter first airborne, like, yeah, but like, will it be great? No. Will it be bad? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, so that's 101st Airborne, another one of our mid-tier here for the Allies. And our next one, ah, our last of the mid-tier divisions here. And that is 1st Infantry, bro, big red one here. Yeah, this division is so heavily phase-locked, on by design, of course, that it just ends up not being that overwhelmingly good. It's got great tools, but the double vet thing, you know, the extra veterancy here is limited to a very specific set of infantry. So literally just these rifles and these engineers. That's it. That, that, it's like five cards at the end of the day. You have extra veterancy on five cards of units in this deck. Um, and this howitzer down here. And I think the normal mortar. I think that's it. That's, that's it. Oh, and the snipers. Excuse me. Sorry, the snipers. Okay, that's it. Like that's it's it's not actually like whoa like it it, it isn't it's it's fine it, it's good like yeah of course extra veterancy is good but that's it the division doesn't do anything else special I I actually kind of just put this at a I think second ID is better than this I I really do um not not much better o only a teeny bit better but better um now the two KHE in this is is nuts like there's there's just infinity of it tank tab not good like there's just nothing here this is this just some bad Shermans it really does not do anything spectacular the recon tab really not great you don't even get snipers till B phase it's very annoying um yeah there, there, there's nothing here to get excited about um the sport tab like I said phenomenal infantry tab is good but you do run the risk of running out of CQC most of it is focused here in this A phase like this breacher this buster and this Assault team, they're all very good cards. Like, I'm not taking away that these are very good units overall. Um, engineers are very meh, as they always have been. And that's it. Like, you do run out of CQC. This is not... I mean, yes, you will definitely last longer than a lot, but you don't have the Rangers that are crazy in second ID and stuff. You lose out on that. You lose out on... I think they get a second M5 gun card in there, I think. Might be wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. The M5 does get free fetch. See, I forgot about that. Um, your AA tab, very light here. You can run out. You certainly can. RD tab's good. Air tab gets expensive quick, but it's good. Um, there's no AT plane though here, so just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, this division is good. I think it'll be like a B tier, you know, or a very low A tier. Um, I I don't. I think the phase locking just makes it. It does make it hard to get around with this division, and it is exploitable. Like you, you can be exploited being forced into this really bad phase locking situation. Where you're like, oh, I got all these great tools, I'll do fine. And then the end of A phase comes, you're like, oh my god, I'm in such a bad position. I can't get back from the hole I'm already done into. So that's the issue first for first infantry. If there's no phase locking, this division certainly like could potentially be S tier. But with the phase locking appropriately done, and I'm I'm very happy with what Eugen did with this division. Um, I think it's in a really good spot to not be OP, but also be playable. So now we're coming into the two divisions I think will be A tier, very solid. Um, I think they got legs to them and they they will play really well uh so the first one here an american division fourth armored this thing kind of just has it all uh it's a very well-rounded division with every tool you could need in every part of the game you could want to have it it can be played maverick it can be played balanced it's got all the tools you want it's got plenty of the beautiful m4a176 shermans which are fantastic you get plenty of normal shermans but actually i shouldn't even say who cares about normal shermans you get plenty of these up armored shermans which are obviously just better like they're what you want sherman's always to be like this tank tab is very good and there you lose the jumbos of third armor but i think that's worth it um you get lots of cavalry scouts your infantry is a beautiful mix of the armored rifles along with rifles so um, basically the best of both worlds here for american divisions support tab is phenomenal plenty of 2k he bigger supply cards uh your at tab is kind of underwhelming but it doesn't matter because your tanks actually don't suck here your aa tab is light i will say that oh no i've frozen out uh why why i've frozen out uh but anyway i'll finish this little section here um you know aa tab limited arty tab great it's american arty air tab limited but that's uh, having a limited air tab is definitely not the end of the world and it's good air what you got so this division i definitely think will be very strong a tier i'd be very surprised if it wasn't i'm not sure what can go wrong that this is not an A tier division. I don't think S though. There's nothing here that we haven't seen before. There's nothing here that's like, whoa, this this is unstoppable. Uh, it's just a very good, another very solid American infantry 
division. All right, sorry about that. Camera fixed. Hurrah, go me. And finally, our final allied division here, we have... 7th armor. And this is actually the one I'm most excited about in terms, and which is shocking for me to say personally. Um, this is the one I'm most excited about for allied divisions here in the new DLC. I, I actually really enjoyed playing this division. Um, it just felt good. Like, it, it felt really well balanced. The the veterancy bonus on these units feels good. Um, it, it, it does good stuff. It feels applicable. It applies to enough units that it matters. Um, yeah, I, this division just felt really well-rounded to me. Like, you had all the Commonwealth stuff you wanted to happen. You actually had plenty of CQC. Um, you know, the recon tab is is great with these scout sniper units and lots of Cromwell stuff. Then your infantry are actually pretty solid with the extra veterancy, giving you lots of availability despite only having seven slots. Um, this extra veterancy allows you to really bring in a lot of units that are actually usable. These assault engineers are very good at 35, and they're expensive at 35 points, but the double machine, I mean, this is an infantry piot, like a rifle piot, at 12 men with a flamethrower. Now, that's not the most phenomenal CQC unit in the world, but the fact is you get 12, 18 if you go B, C, and even if you go A, B, you get 6, 12, you get 18 of them. That's a lot. Uh, you also get a card of field engineers to throw out there, and then rifles, and then these desert rat units, which I think, honestly, should probably go down to 25 points. I think they're a little expensive at 30, but that's beside the point. Um, so your infantry tab is actually as solid as a... As a uh, Commonwealth Division can be in terms of infantry. Your tank tab is very solid with Cromwells and Fireflies. I, it gets the job done. I Do I wish these were Shermans? Yeah, kind of. But Cromwells are their own thing, and they're also, what, 20 to 30 points less than a Sherman, so there's a price difference that does matter. Your support tab is phenomenal. You can get three cards of Cromwell 6s. It's kind of gross. Your AT tab is great. It's a, it's a Commonwealth AT tab. Your AA tab is very good. Your RD tab, it's not amazing, but it has the tools you need for what you need them for. Um, and your air tab is very solid with Tempest and stuff. I mean, this division actually just kind of has all the stuff you want. It's a very good division. I think it's going to be solid A tier for me. Probably one of, if not the best Commonwealth divisions around. I would say, yeah. I feel pretty confident putting that one up there along with 4th Armor. These two, to me, feel like the standouts uh, that don't have anything that's like, yeah, this ain't really good. Um, th these two feel pretty clearly the stronger, again, at least on paper, of the divisions. I always, in the back of my mind, though, say to myself, somehow DBSAS is going to be, like, ridiculously broken. Um, again, I played it and didn't feel that way, but I, that's me, right? That's not really my style of division. So, time to hop over into the Axis side. If you guys have been enjoying this, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. So, starting in the trash tier of the Axis, and truthfully, the Axis divisions have are, are, I think, a lot more this. Um, they're either very usable or they're very not usable. <laughs> I just don't, I don't find a lot of in-between in terms of the Axis division. So starting out, of course, on the very bottom of the bottom, I think we can all guess this one without me having to say it. There you are. 716th Infantry of the Garbage Dumpster Fire. This division is just terrible. I have absolutely no zero doubt this will be D tier. I don't see how this isn't D tier. Now, saying that, I'm 100% sure if Luna comes back and plays, he'll beat me with it. I, I, have no, I have no doubt about that whatsoever. But that's beside the point. That is not a definition of the strength of this division. This division is bad. Um, the, the infantry, which should be the highlight of the division, are not good. <laughs> like, they just aren't actually very good. So you're like, oh my god, I'm giving up my whole tank tab for this, and there's not that much else in the division at all. I'm just giving it all up for great infantry. Nope, I'm not. I'm not giving it up for great infantry. I'm giving it up for nothing, actually. I'm just giving it up for nothing. Um, this time I built it Maverick just because I was like, you know what? Who? How am I even surviving till C-Phase? Um... This is like the defensive division max, but there's actually no way to move forward and win. Like, I just, I don't, there's not very good CQC. Um, it, it's not even one of those things where it's like, I will dominate the forest. Nope, your long range infantry suck. I, it's just bad. Like, it, it is, it's just bad. B phase, you get some armor cards, but by B phase, the opponent has AT. So these just die really fast. Support tab is pretty good. I mean, you get good machine guns. You get this one 2K H unit, which makes it look like it's an okay support tab. It, it doesn't make it an okay support tab. It just is better. The AT tab is good. I mean, this, this is solid. These Martyr 1s, are you get a nice availability and stuff on those. They're your only tank although they are a tank destroyer, so they're not really a tank. They have no machine gun, even though technically, did they fix this? 
Okay, we put in for them to fix this because there's clearly a machine gun right there and no machine gun over here. So a little strange. Um, a tab is, is good. That's fine. The RD tab is, is, is technically good. I don't want to say it's bad because it's not bad, but it's not great either. Like it, it isn't. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to say it's bad because it's not bad, but it's also not amazingly good. The air tab, again, is fine. It's definitely not like the downfall of this deck, but it's not good either. You get this Focke Wolf and that thing's cool. You have no good bomber whatsoever. You get a good fighter, um, but you're certainly not air spamming or anything like that. This division is just bad. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. This division is just just not very good. Um, I think I would prefer to play Korok over this. Uh, and Korok gets now 15 point Shupo, so I almost definitely would play Korok over this and definitely 50 seconds sickering over this too. Um, so yeah, this division, I can't see it being anywhere other than D tier. Um, we don't really have an F tier these days, but it's close. It's close to it. And the other one uh, lingering down there in the depths of garbage heap, in my opinion, in my so educated opinion, 16th Luftwaffe. Now, caveat on this one, 1v1, I think this division probably smacks because it's got King Tigers. And if you have King Tigers, you automatically are really good in, in 10v10, right? Isn't that how it works? Um, so yeah, this division, and you got incredible AA stuff. This division does have some things going for it. I will not say this division is definitely D tier, no chance of being low C tier. I could see it somehow sneaking its way into a low C tier division uh, position for 1v1. I don't, I still think it's probably like high D tier, but it's not very good, right? You you barely have any recon. Yeah, these guys are fine. You you got enough to get by, but there's nothing's happening here. It's literally just some infantry recon. Your infantry are, are bad. That's it. There's no other descriptor of them. They're bad. Now, you do have this interesting interaction where your leaders have discipline, which takes the disip the um the disheartened trade away, gives them veterancy, you know, get them with a commander. You can have lots of two and three star units walking around. And they do all right for 15, 20 points a pop. Yeah, I mean, you can spam the map with them. I'm not going to say that these, this doesn't have strategy to it. But with the fallback nerfs and infantry looking to be a little less strong than they were before, I just don't think this infantry tab is going to hold up at all anymore. Um, the instant that leader dies, these guys all become disheartened again, and then they just all melt. They just wisp away like the disintegration theme uh, uh, scene from the Avengers. It just they just die. Uh, the tank tab is basically just tigers. Uh, you get this one card of Stug three, so it gives you something to work with, but that's not much. Um, and and the King Tiger is worthless in one v one. The support tab is bad. Uh, this Bren, this Flak Panzer Bren is fantastic, but that's it. Like and that doesn't make this support tab good. It just there's no two khe. There's nothing here. Uh, the AT tab is fine. There, there's nothing spectacular here at all. Uh, this is limited to A phase. You know, once that's gone, there's no more 2K AT. Uh, of course, you don't need it. You have tigers, but, you know, the point is it's not there. A tab is wonderful. I mean, this is fantastic. You get real flak 41s. They're very good. RD tab is very good with Neville for 210s and this 172. Air tab is solid. I mean, it's not bad. You get this cool Focke Wolf uh, cluster again. DO 217 bomber, very good. The fighter's not great. Um, so again, there are things happening in this division. I think the infantry are just too weak and you, you're missing so many tools, um, with the 2k HE problems and the not really having light tanks to work with and the medium tank being very limited, uh, not having any recon that does anything. I, I just don't think this division has legs in 1v1. Uh, again, I think there, it will do fine in certain situations, but I think overall this is a, at best a low C tier. Uh, but yeah, so that is the bad divisions for the axis although there's a third one here i wouldn't remin i wouldn't hesitate to put it in there but again for even sake sorry I, I, my throat is very dry getting over a sickness Talk, working through sickness here but anyway there it is festung gross peri my experiences division was so miserable that i it like it, it knocked down like 40 tiers in my mind um and that's not even because i was playing gonzo like i just realized on paper this division looks neat in play you realize how just horrendously lacking it is in so many categories it, it's actually painful um so your recon tab is neat it's limited though like it, it's neat with these snipers but they don't come till b in B, they're a lot less cool at that point, and at the end of the day, they're just a four-man sniper team, which for 20 points is good, 
but snipers are getting nerfed as well, so they're not nearly as good as they were before, so now they're just kind of meh. Uh, you only get three Pumas, and Pumas are not as good as they were. This, this, I think overall this is a nerf. Despite the the availability increase, the price increase is pretty painful, and these just don't trade well enough to be calling tons of these in at 50 points. Um, you, This is your only medium tank in the deck. Two of these Panzer 4Js. That ain't good. Um, your infantry are kind of... Uh, you have no CQC. Let's start with that. There is actually no real CQC here at all. Um, this Pioneer card. That's it. These guys are horrendous. Like, they are so bad. Uh, there's a reason they're 10 points, because they're absolutely useless. They go in, they throw this Molotov, they put out no actual damage, and then they die. That's it. That's all they do. They're, they're so bad. You you burn through this these 12 in, like, one minute. They're just terrible. Um, so I don't even count that as real CQC. The Sikarung Wes is is not great. It, it's very underwhelming. I do love that they're wearing, in the, the card at least, oh, I, I wish they were wearing the like street things in, in the actual card. These themselves are terrible at shooting infantry, like just straight bad. These are okay. Um, the Urzat Stroop and Padi, these are great. These are very good, fat, chunky squads that actually do quite well. Falschmjägers are Falschmjägers. The Panzergrens are really there mostly to make your Urzat uh, Petty not run away because this is secretly a discipline unit. Um, so the infantry tab is okay at long range. It's good. I, I, actually, I should say it's good at long range. It's bad at CQZ. Uh, the tank tab is all heavy tanks, which is not good. Like I, I can't. Uh, so many people are like, it's all right, just having tigers. No, it is not. It's awful. It's a bad experience and it's not fun. Support tab is not good. You have no two khe at all. Uh, the flampanzer is fun, but it's not actually phenomenal. The AT tab is good in certain situations and horrendous in others. You only have light AT. Like, if you actually look at this, this kills light armor and armor cards and stuff wonderfully. Trades up wonderfully. But you hit, it like, any sort of Tiger or Panther or IS-2 or even a T-3485, you're you have almost no way to kill it. Uh, this Martyr 3 card is about it. Uh, you have to rely on your tanks, which those tanks can then die to whatever they're trying to kill. So, it's not good. Your AA tab, very limited. Not good. Uh, you just don't have much good AA at all. The RD tab, very limited. Not actually good. Um, yeah, sure, 150s are fine, but it's not anything above the norm, and it's very low numbers. The air tab, not that good. You get Focke Wolves, and then the rest of it's essentially JU-88s, uh, which are fine in their place, but having only those is really not that great. So yeah, this division, honestly, I could put in the bad tier as well. I don't think it's all the way down in D tier, but it's definitely bottom of C tier. I, I just don't see it being any higher. Um, it's missing so many tools, and you don't realize it until you actually play with it, and you're like, wow, this is a terrible experience. Um, yeah. Next one on here, in the mid-tier, is what I actually really do like at the end of the day. I, I actually do quite enjoy this division. 91st, Luflanda. Um, yeah, I, I I like this division. It's, it's a neat little division. Um, it's a nice mix of Falschmjäger division and kind of like a Panzergren division. Uh, these LL shoots in at 25 points feel really good. They fill in like the, kind of the point gap that the normal Falschmjäger divisions are missing. Uh, this division, though, suffers from a lack of CQC again. We have a definite issue with that here. It's not as awful as others because you do get Sturm Pioneers, you get Pioneers. So it's not terrible, but it, it's not beating any real CQC units. Uh, your Recon tab is fine. Your Tank tab is limited to B-Phase Stug 3s. Uh, that's it. Like, the rest of this is, cut, like, hot garbage. You don't want any... Like, these are absolutely... I keep trying these thinking they're gonna be useful. They're absolutely awful. Like, they're, they're so bad. They can barely kill half-tracks. It's... it's actually, They're actually embarrassing. Um, Stugs are great, but limited to B phase really sucks. Like, if you could bring one of these cards in A, I'd feel a lot better about it, but you are limited to B, C phase in this, so that really is not fun. Uh, the support tab's good. You have IG-18s, you have LG-42s, which is great, the little ammo. AT tab is not great, because you only have one card of pack 40s, and then you're forced to rely on pack 43s, which is just a very expensive choice. Um, and, and these are just, like, death magnets. Everyone who sees these things is like, must bomb, must arty this to death, because it's a hundred freaking points. I understand why. It's easy to to trade up to this thing. Um, so that's not great. The Garelicks are awesome, um, but I don't think that's made up for by that. A tab, eh, not amazing though. Not amazing. You're forced into 20 mils in A phase. Flak 36s are not exciting, and 88s are 88s. RD tab, very good. This is great. You get you get uh, more, you get radio mortars, you get Neville Verfers, you get 152s. This is a very nice RD tab overall. Air tab, 
is nothing exciting, but it's not bad either. Uh, you BF one of nines. The problem is no AT planes here, but of course you have pack 43s forever for that. So I think this division is probably a low B tier somewhere in that zone. I think it's definitely playable on certain maps. I actually think it's got some pretty good 2K uh, assets, uh, longer range like slits maps and stuff. I think this one will do pretty good. I would not want this on like a cell or something like that. But yeah, I mean, it, and it's got Fulcher Jaegers, which can always be kind of cracked in the right spots. So yeah, I like 91st Lufthansa. I think it's a fun, pretty flavorful division. Um, can definitely get run over. Not saying it is all mighty, and I definitely don't think it's getting A tier or anything like that. And our last one will be a little controversial here for my mid-tier choices, but I do actually think I want this in the mid-tier. As in, I see high B-tier, maybe low A-tier, but honestly, probably more like high B-tier. And I, I'm waiting for the hate in the comments on this one, but I, I actually, I stand behind this one. Second Panzer. Uh, this one is has been thoroughly downgraded in my mind. The more I tried this division out, the more I played with it, I... I did just nothing actually special here at all. Yes, this looks sexy. I mean, this is hot. Look at, look at all this double veterancy. Oh, oh, it's so, look at this tank deck. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. It's what every deck wants to look like. But then you play it, it's just like, eh. Eh. <laughs> like, it just, eh. Like, again, the argument comes down to, the argument really comes down to this. If all it took for Panzer Divisions to be good was double veterancy, why didn't everyone just double vet, play Vanguard, and run every opponent over? Because Panzer Divisions aren't that good. That's it. That's why. That's what it comes down to. They're just not that great. Um, the infantry is too expensive. Now, you do get some Volkdeutsche to help a little bit here, but your CQC sucks. Like, you're, you don't have good CQC. As much as I want to love Sturm Pioneers, they underperform constantly. Um, your, your, your recon tab is phenomenal. Like, it looks amazing. It is. It's, it's so cool. Look at all that. Look, look at all those armor cards. It's the absolute clown fest. Um, yeah, this is the division. If you want to clown car spam someone, this is it. Go for it. Like, have a time. Um, but no, the, the absolute lack of AT options in A phase is painful. To, against anyone who knows what they're doing, it is a incredibly exploitable weakness. And this it's much worse than it is in other divisions. So like think like Sixth Corporal. Okay, so that division has no armor except for like a T70, right? Similar to having like a Puma, essentially. And it's like, why doesn't it feel as bad in that division? Because I like Sixth Corporal and I don't think it's a bad division. My issue with it is this division in A phase only has pack 40s and Pumas to kill an armored target. Like that is actually it. Yeah, IGA teams with heat and stuff. But you know, for real options, Panzer Shrek, Pack 40, Puma. What? 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 A 60-point option that is very killable with a mortar or something. Pumas that die to every tank in the game, 1v1, easy. And Panzer Shrek, they have to be within 250-meter range. That isn't good. Like, that's bad. And I can tell you the experience using this was bad. Um... It's very difficult with that for that A phase stuff. Like it, Sixth Corporal has tons of AT to work with, so it's like whatever, fine. I don't have tanks in A phase. Big whoop. I'll just kill all your tanks another way. This this is hard. This this is hard. Now once you get to B phase, sure, there's lots of good things. But again, you have you have bad CQC. Triple star Sturm Pioneers are nice, but you can get triple star Sturm Pioneers normally speaking. Single vet them, get your commander out and get a leader. Like you can have triple star Sturm Pioneers. I've I've had many times, and they're not lighting the forest on fire. They're dying, generally speaking. Um so yeah, do I like this division? Yeah, I mean it's neat. Do I think it's better than every Panzer division in the game? The answer is actually no. The answer is just a straight no. Um, I think I will still prefer like 26th Panzer, uh, uh, Panzer Grenadier Gross Deutschland, uh, maybe even 20th Panzer over this, uh, having the IS-2 and so like this division still struggles against an IS-2. Like, what do you do? I don't know. Hope to get a side shot with a Panther? Please, God. Like, like that's it. Like, you're kind of screwed. So yeah, second Panzer. I think high beats here. No more than that. Getting into the good divisions, what I expect to be strong divisions here in the new uh, new divisions, we have 9th Panzer. I actually really like this division. Uh, it feels very 20th Panzer-y to me. It is lacking the 2K strength that 20th Panzer has. I will say that right off the bat. But I think the infantry in this division are better significantly. Um, 
your your CQC is not that much better, but it's honestly about the same. Because the tab is so much bigger than 20th, you get a lot more CQC, and you get these Kozakan Pioneers. Like, I think the Infantry tab is a solid upgrade on 20th Panzer. The Recon tab, 100% upgrade on 20th Panzer. The Tank tab, a slight downgrade. You don't get the T-34s, you don't get the Panzer threes, you don't get the IS-2. So the Tank tab is a downgrade overall. Um, the Support tab is a downgrade. You don't get as much Support tab stuff at all. It, it is a very limited Support tab. That is a problem here. AT tab is great, but you don't have the two key, you don't have the Pack 43 and stuff to work with in you know, for comparing directly to 20th, which honestly, this division is very similar to that. Um, but you do get some great tools in the Martyr threes, the Panzer Jaegers, the Jag Panzer IV, a lot of good tools here. This is not a bad AT tab. It just has no 2K. Uh, the A tab, very good. Mobile wagons, flak fillings, you, you, you got what you want. RD tab, you got the standard Panzer division loadout with a, with a pretty strong off map here at the bottom. Uh, this is a very good a RD tab overall. Uh, it's not phenomenal, but it is a good RD tab. Air tab, kind of similar to 20th, where you're just really limited, but you have the JU-87. This one, you get a Focke-Wulf instead of a crappy BF-109. Uh, you don't really have any bombers. You have the, the rocket Focke-Wulf. I'm not a big fan of these, though, uh, but it is medium resilience. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, I actually really enjoy this division. I think this division is a solid A tier. I would take this Panzer division over a lot of other Panzer divisions. Um, I do think the Panzergren G43 is a, a noticeable upgrade in terms of the quality of the infantry unit. Having the Kozakan Pioneers gives you a lot more CQC. Like, I have a lot of CQC in this. There's 20, 35 units of CQC. Now, is this amazing CQC? No, but you actually have depth in a Panzer division in the woods, which is really abnormal. And then you just get tons of armored cars and Panzer. Like, you can have way more than this. There's tons more here. So... Yeah, I, I think this division is very good. This is actually a division I expect to be an A tier in terms of uh, Panzer divisions coming up here. And this is a division I, I look forward to playing a lot. I, I really enjoyed it. And finally, and I'm not saying I think this one's actually better than ninth. I just, I, I, I just putting them both in, I think, will be A tier uh, divisions here. I lost it. Y'all know what it is. There you are. First SS Panzer. This division is cool. It's neat. It's good stuff. Um... There is potential that the pricing of the units kind of boxes it out, but there's some really strong, efficient units in here that can make up for that. Um, Recon tab, nothing spectacular. The Pumas are nice to have. Um, I still think they've been nerfed pretty hard, so they're not like... I would not be surprised if people didn't play the Puma these days. Uh, the Recon or whatever. The Infantry tab, very strong. You get these uh, these uh, Panzer Pioneer Lassas, which are basically Panzer Grens with grenades, which is awesome. Um, Sturm Pioneer Lassas, which are absolute yellow forest dominators and can crush in towns as well. Um, these guys are, are very good for that job. Are they amazing in the actual woods? No. But they still can. That's the point. They are still capable. Of, and since they're limited to B and C, you get a lot. So you have 25 of these and eight of these guys. Lots of CQC for this division. So you're not running out. The Panzergrens are these Lassau uh, motorized, I think are just better than these uh, Gep ones. Uh, these guys are just too small. I find eight man teams die too easily. These are 11 man teams with half of them being G43 and your usual double MG42. Very strong, straight up upgraded Panzergrenz. And you get lots of Volkdeutsche if you want them for 25 points, making this more cost efficient than a lot of other Panzer divisions. Your tank tab, actually pretty cost efficient because you get the Panzer 4Js to give you 65 point tanks to trade up. Plenty of Panthers. Again, you are struggling against IS-2s and stuff, though. There is not great solutions to that here. Uh, support tab is phenomenal. Two cards of 2K HE here. Your AT tab is got what it, it has what it needs. It is limited and expensive, but with all these tanks, you don't need it as much. AA tab, very good. Plenty of flak for links to go around. RD tab is actually just phenomenal because Neville Refer 210s are crazy good, and you still have all the RD you could want here. Uh, but honestly, all you really need are Neville Refers. <laughs> like, honestly, these are really, really good. This is truthfully how you kill IS-2s, right here. Two of these hit an IS-2. I'm pretty sure it dies most of the time. I haven't had the chance to experiment with that, but I would put money on that this two of these kill an IS-2 straight up. Uh, and then your air tab is terrible, but honestly, if your air tabs, something's going to be terrible. Air tab being terrible is not a big deal. Uh, but you still have tools here. I mean, it's a focke wolf. If you're stuck with something, that's not a, something to be stuck with. So yeah, first SS Panzer. I think this one's probably A tier. Uh, if not, definitely high B tier. I, I personally actually like ninth more than this, but this division is really neat um and fun to play and a, just a straight upgrade on most other panzer divisions so yeah i would put those two in 
the good category of this DLC. If you guys enjoyed this roundup, I hope you did. Please hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for sticking it through. Make sure to check out that Patreon link down below. Thank you to everyone who has or currently supports me there. It really does mean a lot. And check out attackpowergaming.com for all kinds of cool stuff over there. Thanks a bunch, guys, for watching. Get hyped. New DLC dropping Tuesday. Thanks a bunch, guys, and have a fantastic day.